Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a declutter and this is all of my lip products, including my lip liners. This is liquid lipsticks. This is not glosses. Uh, am I going to include those? I'm probably going to include those because I've been wanting to do this for a while and I know this is going to take a long time. So this right here is all the stuff that came out of my bathroom, moving the table. So most of that is not going anywhere because this is my, I use this every day. Well, not all of it. And then this is what is in my drawer. And then this bag right here is what I keep in my purse. This probably ain't going nowhere, but I'm gonna run through all of it. Let you guys see. I have a lot more lip products than I thought. So I'm gonna try to go through this quick. This is new stuff I'm probably not gonna get rid of, but I'm not thrilled about having it either. So before we get into this video, if you were new here, I would love to have you join the family. Y'all know the drill. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. And this is only my second declutter video, but I will do more to go through my collection and then show you guys my collection. So if you want to see, this should not be in here, my lip collection and what I'm going to declutter, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, I went ahead and I grabbed my glosses. This is what I keep my glosses in. I didn't think I had this much stuff, so we're just gonna get into it. I, if I'm not sure about something, you'll see swatches, but I'm probably gonna speed through this stuff unless there's something I really wanna tell you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start with liners. Anything in a box, I just bought these, so I'm going to keep all of these. You've seen them in hauls. I've probably swatched them. Pretty sure I've swatched them, but all of these are new, darker liners I have found and I wanna keep. You know what, let me move some of this stuff and then I can kind of try to be a little organized with this. So anything that's not open yet, I know I'm keeping this. This is Sephora. This is Jordana. I actually love these liners and I don't see them anymore. If you guys know where to find these, then let me know. This is another I just picked up. This is NYX. All these are not open. If I find brown liners, find them on sale, I tend to stock up because I can't always find them. So not getting rid of any of these. This is the Sephora collection in the shade Bad Apple. And I think I only bought this one because I did not have a red. So not getting rid of any of those. Keeping these. This is not open. Oh, this is Mesquite. I think I have another one of these somewhere. Okay, I was actually looking for this. This is not a lip liner. This is, yeah, an eyeliner. And I was looking for this the other day and I couldn't find it. This is the green one that I swatched for you guys recently. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because even though I got it in a boxy charm, yeah, this color is just too light. It's not gonna do any good. This red liner, I'm not gonna keep that. This is my everyday lip color. This is my ultimate. I think this one is ultimate. This is my favorite of all time. And anytime I can find it, I'm going to get it. And I hold on to these like precious pearls. This is BFF3. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna sharpen this one and see. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. So we'll put this with the maybes. Tired of keeping stuff I don't want to wear. I have several of these epic ones. They are pretty light, but these are a good nude if I'm wearing just gloss for me. Now it has me looking at this one again. <laughs> see what this is. Yeah, definitely keeping this. This is in Jordana as well, which I don't find. So yeah, the rest of these are gonna stay. I just, lip liners are more just, let's see what 
This is... Yeah, that one's dark enough. That'll stay... Very creamy. These are the Wet n Wild gel liners. Love these. Essence Softberry. I do use this one pretty often. And this is Milani, not going anywhere. Milani 07, Milani number 10. Yeah, these are all staying. Then these here are the ones that I have in my bathroom. This is another Dominique Cosmetics ones I tried. I don't like it. I like it, but not the, this is a eyeliner, not supposed to be in here. This lip liner is Wet n Wild in the shade Lay Down the Mauves. Yeah, I like that. And I'm not gonna go back and get that Lorac one. That's gonna stay. So this is staying. I know this is staying. This is ColourPop Pitch. This is Jordana Hot Cocoa. I love this. Wear that one a lot. I don't think there's anything here that I'm gonna get rid of. This is Sephora Collection in Brilliant Berry. Yeah, definitely keeping that. I have red liners and honestly, I don't know why. That one's not bad. I guess I'll keep it. I think I had another one though. This is Bite Beauty in 046. It's just a number. Yeah, I actually like that red better. So I'm going to keep that one and get rid of this Prestige brand. Even though this one is retractable, which I prefer. I don't wear red. So what is this? This is Jordana Cabernet. Yeah, definitely keeping that. MAC Half Red. This is another Jordana in Sugar Plum. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to keep it. Okay, so that's it. We're keeping all these. Wait, what is this? Wet n Wild in Gone Burgundy. Oh yeah, I just love the formula of these. So we are keeping all of these. Um, I knew I wasn't gonna declutter a lot of liners because I don't know. I just, I know what I like and I use most of these regularly. So these are all gonna stay. All right, so now we're gonna start with these small ones here, which these are just a bunch of little samples that I've gotten. And I honestly don't ever reach for them unless it's some kind of special occasion. So we're just going to go through these. This is from the brand Real Her. See, that's the thing. Like, these colors aren't bad. It's just... Oh, when are you ever going to wear that? This I'm keeping simply because it's hourglass. I'm going to throw that away. I don't like the applicator. I think I have another one in here, but we'll get to it. This is Marc Jacobs. This is a red. I don't have a lot of red, so I'm gonna keep that. This is Red Amour. Looks like Makeup Forever. Another red. That's a little more creamy. I'm gonna keep it. It's this Private Red by Duop. This has never even been used, never even swatched. That's really pretty. I keep that one. This is Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is also Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is a different one. So let's see. This one's been swatched. Ooh, I don't know if I will wear that to be honest. Has this one been swatched? Why would I do that? I'm gonna keep one and get rid of the other one. I don't know why I have two. This is Lolita, definitely not getting rid of her. Pucker Up Dolly, this is some little, what? Oh no, I don't even know what this is. This is Marc Jacobs Magenta. Ooh, that's pretty. Something smells on my hand. That thing I just used. I'm going to keep that one. This is Bare Minerals Make Your Move Moxie. Running out of space. 
I'm gonna get rid of that. That's so old. This is Kat Von D Lovecraft, which I'm pretty sure I have the big one of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this to the side because if I have the big one, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, I went ahead and sharpened this BFF3 liner. So I'll just show you guys real quick what that looks like. So it's a brown, it's just a lot lighter than what I normally wear. I'm gonna keep that one. I also have Mac Chestnut, which I just found in my other drawer. That is super dark, but I do use it. And then I also have Pat McGrath Ground Control, which I am definitely keeping, but also a very dark brown as well. All right, back to these. This is a Tarte Lip Surgeons. This should be with my glosses. I'm gonna get rid of this. I just, I don't, I'm not gonna wear it. This next one is Makeup Forever number six N. Ooh, has this been swatched? This hasn't even been swatched. Uh, I'm gonna throw it. Not in love with it. This is Buxom Menace. That's a pretty color. Y'all, these are so old though, so that's the other thing. If they swatch okay and they don't smell bad, I'm gonna keep them. This is Nova Deeply Noya Deeply Mauve. That feels weird. I'm throwing it. And it smells strong. I didn't even put it to my nose. This is Bite Beauty Palomino. Mm, not a bad shade. I'll hold on to it. This is Lovecraft. Didn't I say this already? I did. Hmm. Okay, so I have two of these. And I think I have a big one. This is... Bare Minerals Speak Your Mind. Yeah, we're not doing that. Never been swatched or used. Bite Beauty for VIB Rouge. Still very creamy. We'll keep that one. And then doo-wop. That's actually a pretty shade. We'll keep that one. More lip liners that I'm not going to get rid of. This is NYX Espresso and Milani just got this rich cocoa. We are keeping those. And then these are just randoms that were on my vanity. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Bittersweet. Definitely keeping Bobbi Brown Hot Cocoa. Definitely keeping. I have never used this yet. This is Tower 28 Cashew. This Becca Hydrolite in Tide. I feel like... No, I'm going to keep it. It just wasn't the color I expected. And so I thought I didn't like it, but it's not, not bad. Definitely keeping this Milani, just got this. This Marc Jacobs, I also just picked up. This Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme, this is stupid. It doesn't work. I'm kind of pissed that I got it. And I use it just because I don't want to throw it away because I just bought that. So now we're going to move on. These are all new. And honestly, I want to get rid of them already, but I got to at least try it once. Y'all just saw this in my haul, so I'm not going to get rid of it, but not happy about these. These two I liked, so keeping these. All right, so now we're going to go through these. This is NYX Explosive. I'm going to chunk that. Minted Dark Night Keeping. This is Breakaway by Bare Minerals. How do you open this? Wow. Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of it. If it's breaking like that, that's gonna piss me off. This is Revlon Sultry Sable. Ooh. Oh, I need to wear that. That's pretty. 
This is L'Oreal Collection Privé. I don't think you can get these anymore. This is Eva's Nude. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to get rid of it. It's pretty, and I kind of want to keep it just to have because it looks nice, but not going to wear it. This is L'Oreal Toasted Almond. I know I'm keeping that. Very pretty. These aren't very like super pigmented, but gorgeous colors. CoverGirl Queen Collection, Mocha Loca. Love this, not getting rid of. Need to put this somewhere for me to use it now. CoverGirl Queen Collection, Fine Wine. Ooh, she's dark. You see that there. Also gonna keep, even though you can't get these anymore. Juvia's Place ain't going nowhere. Kiwi and a Mauve Moment. And then I can pretty much tell you none of these are going anywhere. This is All My Milani's. So this is Matte Fearless. These are so old and they still work so well. Naturally Chic. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of these. Gorgeous color payoff. Very creamy. Matte Beauty. Actually... Yeah, not getting rid of. Rose Femme. Love that. Need to wear. Bahama Beige. Am I gonna wear that? I need to try it. I'm gonna pull this out to try now. Matte Naked. Did I say that earlier? Are we gonna wear that? Probably not. I'm gonna pull it to see if I'm gonna wear it and then probably get rid of it. All right, this we all know is my Mac. <laughs> I probably just need to get another one. This is topped with brandy. This is the only one of these I have. I broke it, fell on the floor, not getting rid of it, and I'm probably gonna buy another one. So these are all done, now we'll move to these. So we'll start, this is NYX Butter. I think I just went through a purple phase. This is Hunk. I feel like I wore this recently. This is still good. This is T-Rose. I'm not gonna wear that. This is Wicked Lippy in Betrayal. Oh, look how dark that is. That's so pretty. I'm gonna keep that. This is, what brand is this? CoverGirl Queen Stay Luscious. It's a red. My son used this on me, I think. Doesn't smell bad, it's just kind of messed up, but it's a gorgeous color. We'll keep that one. This is Wet n Wild Mocha Licious 941C. That color, but this is so old. Mm, I don't want to get rid of this. That is so pretty. Yeah, we're not getting rid of that. This is Bare It All, Wet n Wild. This was like the first time I ever tried to wear a light pink nude. Keeping it because it's kind of special. This is Metallic Seduction. You gotta go. We don't do that anymore. This is Wet n Wild. Why do you look like that? What did I do? Did it melt? Mink brown. That is such a pretty color. It's like a brownish red. I hate that it looks like that. This is Essence Barely There. Also, when I first started trying to get into nudes, I like that color. Color Pop. This is Come On Sis. Beautiful. This is my kind of, I love colors like that. This is Amethyst Shimmer. We know you're gonna go. Oh my goodness, Barbara. Girl, what were you thinking? All right, up next we have, this is a red 107 by Rimmel. That's pretty, let me keep that one. Berry Kiss by Mary Kay. I think this has a little bit of a frost. Yeah, we're not gonna keep that. This is Cool Nude by Essence. Mm, I'm gonna keep it. This is Chocolate Velvet by Revlon. 
gorgeous color. Rum Reach. These are really old. I wonder what those bumps are on there. They don't smell bad though. Ah, it's all right. We're gonna keep that. This is Maison, which I am pretty sure I'm keeping because I remember loving this color. This is like, I remember they said that this was a dupe for, um, oh, I'm not gonna think of it right now, but there was a color, it don't matter. Cool brown, gonna keep it. This is crazy for coffee. Definitely keeping that. This is also, I believe, Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. Violet Ray by NYX. Mm, I feel like that has a shimmer to it, and I don't know if I like it. <sighs> Maybe. This is Touch of Spice keeping. This is Maple Kiss and Untainted Spice. I'm keeping all of those. I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, moving on. I already did these. Yay, we're making progress. I can tell y'all right now, I'm gonna show you what these are, but these aren't going anywhere. These are my high end. So these are new, my Tom Ford. One is, I think, a, a Kui. Oh, I can't get this out of here. Girl. Oh, no. This is Cathedral by Kat Von D. I love this shade, gonna keep that. Yeah, this is Tom Ford 100EQUUS. Definitely keeping, definitely keeping. It's my new Pat McGrath I got, I'm keeping. This is Clinique, what is this? Clinique Pop Lip Color and Primer. This is a sample I got. I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I have quite a few of those too because they came in a kit. This is Urban Decay 1993 Matte. Ooh, she old, but still gorgeous. Keeping Cat Suit by Melt, super dark brown. She kind of dry. What's going on? I'm gonna get rid of that, it's dry. Um, hot shimmer, hot kiss shimmer, we, yeah. You're gonna go, cause I can't even, mm -mm. Not getting rid of NARS Dolce Vita. This is one of my all time favorite lip colors and I have a few of them. This is just my favorite like throw on and go. This is Bite Beauty Pepper, also another favorite throw on and go. As y'all can see, I kind of have a theme. I'm not throwing these away. I know Jeffree Star is on people's shit list, but I like these colors. This is Thick of Thieves, Thickest Thieves Androgyny, which I have two of. Yeah, this is Androgyny right here. I probably need to get rid of this. But I love this shade. I'm not getting rid of it. I don't care. This is just really old. I probably should throw this one and keep that one, but. And then this one is Gemini, more of a nude red. Yeah, you see the difference in the formula? So yeah, you gotta go. Definitely keeping that one. This is also Jeffree Star Daddy. I don't know why I bought this, Lord help her. <laughs> we gotta try it before I get rid of it. I've been surprising myself. This is NARS. Audrey. I bought this because I just wanted to have something different and that's a gorgeous color. Just got this, so I'm keeping it. I'm not closing. Smashbox, always on, yes honey. Strawberry Field by Butter. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Gerard Cosmetics Underground. Y'all, I can't think of the shade that everybody was trying to come out. This is dry. And I have that other one. So we're gonna get rid of that. This 
is Gerard Cosmetics 1995. Please don't be old. Oh, it's so dry. She's so dry. It's coming off, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's old. Oh, that hurts my heart. Laura Geller just got this one. MAC Viva Glam 3. She's still good. Paramount Love. She's still good as well. I feel like we're making some progress. All right, let's go through these real quick. Keeping. These are separated by drugstore and high end, so I just kind of try to slide them, which ain't gonna work. So, not open keeping. Wet and Wild Fergie. Actually, I can get rid of Bear It All and I'll keep this one. Gotta make the decision right then and there or I'm not gonna do it. I hate this. I'm mad that I hate it, but I just felt patchy and I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of it. I hated it when I used it. This J-Cat lip paint, I have had this forever. Yeah, no, we're gonna get rid of that. Wet n' Wild, give me mocha, keep. Just bought this. This is XX Revolution, formidable. I remember this was like, yeah, super dark, gorgeous. We're gonna keep this. Maybelline Superstay and Coco Connoisseur, keep this. What is this? ColourPop Lippy in Toasty. This is literally the only one of these I have, and it is so old, but it's still pretty. I'm gonna keep it, I like it. Wet n' Wild, Cedar Later. I'm probably gonna get rid of, look, I think I just swatched this. I don't know, oh, but that's pretty. Nope, we're gonna keep it. What is this, Revlon Ultimate. I'm not gonna keep this. I feel like these never apply right. I'm gonna try it, but I'm probably gonna throw it. I'm gonna take this out to use now. What is this? This should not be in here. Milani, Amore Matte Lip Cream and Obsession. That's applying nicely still. That's a pretty color. We'll keep that one. I don't know what this is. Girl, no. What is that? Oh, I don't like it. Keeping, 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 keeping. So make sure you're still good. Yep. Collab. I try to grab this whenever this brand came pretty popular. Y'all notice I have a trend with my colors. We'll keep that. What are you? Revlon. Ultimate color stay, same as that other one. I just feel like when these went on, they just didn't, no. We're gonna get rid of it, both of them. So, all right, now we're gonna move on to the high-end ones. We're gonna put these in here because that's where they go. So now we're gonna move on to the high-end. This Ofra, y'all, this is separating. This is so old. Yeah, you gotta go. Not getting rid of Melted Chihuahua, all-time favorite. Have two of them. Definitely keeping. Ooh wee, what is this? Crucifix. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Keeping. Not even open yet. Anything that's not open, I'm not getting rid of. Bare Minerals Swank. Pretty. Sephora collection. I'm gonna keep this because I don't have anything else like this. Already know. That is so pretty. Ofra Ultimate Red. Nah, we got other reds. Buxom. This should be with glosses, I'm pretty sure. Mm, maybe not. I'm gonna keep that one. You no, know I'm keeping my Marc Jacobs. What is this? Ofra. That's not a bad color. I don't know what this is though. No name. Definitely keeping this. This is so gorgeous. 
I don't even wear stuff like that, but it's the duochrome for me. Pure Lip Lure Hydrating Lip Lacquer. Oh, this is so weird. It's pretty though. Let me try it. I need to try it. No. Eh, no. Fenty. Oh, you gotta sharpen this. I don't want it. Nah, I don't want it. Stila Patina. All right, so now we're gonna go through glosses. Oh, Elf Tinted Lip Oil, this should not even be in here. Bite Beauty. I just don't like these pencil things that much. OCC Lip Tar, who wears these? Black, Barbara, really? That's not even gonna come out. Mark Jacobs, y'all. That's pretty. This is so old though. I'm gonna get rid of it because this is old, old. This is one of the ones that had the light on it. That is really pretty, actually. I'm gonna keep this. So that is it. We got rid of a lot of those. So we're gonna go through these, which are all in my bathroom on my vanity, and then what is in my purse, and that will be it. All right, making progress. Just grabbing from the top, and I'm probably gonna put these where they go and then figure out what I'm bringing back in the bathroom. So this is a julep. See this, I never use this. I don't know why it's in there. So we're gonna put that. Kat Von D, Lolita. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Veronica. These mini Ofras, I think I'm gonna get rid of, nope. This is foundation. I don't know why this is in here. The Mac Del Rio, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shades. Absolutely love that. Let's see. Ooh. This is Bite Beauty Demi Glass. Demi Glass. Keep that. This is Lolita. Okay, so I don't have another cathedral. I thought I did. And then we will go through these, although I am pretty sure I'm gonna keep most of these. Cause like I said, this is my everyday bag that stays in my purse. Do I need this many in my purse? Probably not. So maybe I'll take some out, but don't think these are going anywhere. 
Grab a sharpener, melted fig. Shouldn't be in there. Lip liner, ultimate. Brow pencil. Cat bun. And you know what? This is Fenty Beauty uncuffed i don't feel like i wear this enough to keep it in here i think i take it out and i'm like i want to wear it and then i don't know why i don't mm, we'll put that in here gloss gloss spice girl definitely keeping this is one of my favorites i got lash adhesive i need to take this out of here Lip balm. All right, this don't need to be in there. Mascara and the brow. I'm gonna go back. This pencil. This is BFF three, which I think I said earlier. This seems a lot darker. Anyway, that stand. Nick's coffee bean stand. Revlon color stay and chocolate definitely staying. Rimmel Ultimate. This I think I only keep in my purse because I'm like, oh, I have a Pat McGrath, but we're gonna put her on the vanity. These are staying. I just found these in another drawer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in and probably add them to here if I keep them. These are Mary Kay lipsticks that were gifted to me by my friends. So this is Merlot. And these were all new, so. Nice, beautiful shade. This is Shell, which I remember is a nude. And if I have not said this in another video, that is really pretty, kind of light. I'm gonna keep this one out and try it. Um, I used to be a Mary Kay director and that's kind of what got me into makeup. This is Rich Fig. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this one, Merlot. It didn't swatch as nice, so we're gonna get rid of that one. Downtown Brown was one of my all time favorites. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's such a gorgeous color. Then I have Royal Plum. I didn't say that already. Oh, this is a liquid lipstick. That shouldn't even be in here. Mm, I'm gonna have to try this. I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but we will see. I feel like it went on a little patchy. Gingerbread was another one of my favorites. Another. Would I wear these now? I need to see because these all have like a sheen to them. Are they satins? This is another liquid lip color in Chocoholic. Pretty sure I'm keeping this one. Yeah, gorgeous color. And then this is a lip gloss in Sweet Raisin. This was also a favorite. Definitely keeping. So pretty. So that is that. More stuff that I forgot to include. These are actually up on my big vanity. They ain't going nowhere, we already know this. This is Pat McGrath Omi lipstick. Not getting rid of. This is 1995. Also not getting rid of, although they are very similar. And then this is Flesh 3. Definitely not getting rid of. And then this is the lip gloss in Bronze Venus. Beautiful. And then the liquid lipstick in Divine Rose. Definitely not getting rid of. Haven't even worn this yet. This needs to go in my purse. Matter of fact. Now that is officially it, I think. Hope I don't find anything else in another drawer. So I feel like I needed to show you guys. This is what we have left. So I feel like I did a pretty good job minimizing some stuff. This was pretty much full over here. So that has some room in it. This is a lot smaller, what I had in my purse. I'm probably gonna add more stuff to it, ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, this is where 
we have finished so i do feel like this is a little bit smaller and then i'll show you guys what i decided to get rid of and this is everything that i'm getting rid of this i'm pretty proud of myself it's gonna make a mess but yeah just hoarding holding on to stuff honestly it's mainly because i've just never taken the time to sit down and go through it so now that i have and i swatched everything i feel pretty good about this so this is what we're decluttering if you guys have seen anything that you think i should have gotten rid of or suggest want to suggest anything to me that i should pick up comment below and let me know i'm still thinking i'm gonna get rid of this i never wear it ever comment let me know that's it guys thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you guys like declutters let me know i have more stuff to go through that i will share with you but i'm not gonna ramble anymore i'm gonna put all this stuff up i will see you guys in the next video bye